All right, snackers, let's get right into this. Um, I've got 149 loot boxes unopened. I haven't opened up any of my loot boxes since New Year's, Christmas, Halloween. I'm gonna say since Halloween three. Okay, I've opened up some of my loot boxes during Halloween, but uh, not really any sense. So we're just going to be opening up 100. Oh, that is nice. I like that a lot. Oh, 149 loot boxes. More lost than the moon in winter. That's one less than 150. Talk to the feast. And seeing what comes up, also, that is just really fun, fun content. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, uh. Also, I've been reading a lot about the developmental history of Overwatch. Yeah, fascinating stuff. I'll link to some of my sources in the description. And really... To talk about that... How's that for some fireworks? Yeah. Get Charlotte on that. So, this might take a while... I'll, I'll go back to that hamster skin. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Okay, so I, I don't have much May stuff, so that's nice. Check this out. I like my Lucio stuff. Can't buy any new stuff, obviously. But what if I want to use back catalog with my loot boxes? That'd be redundant and awful. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, Overwatch started out as a project for Blizzard called Project Titan, which was supposed to be this MMO, like you're a magician. mundane office worker by the day, but you're a hero by night sort of deal. Uh, I think I need a little hair of the dog. Different enough from Blizzard's World of Warcraft to not be really directly in the same market. Stupidity is not a right. Okay. <laughs> that project was scrapped for a uh, number of Very cool, very cool. A lot of the workers were let go. Uh, those who remained were split into three groups each told to come up with an idea for a direction that their research development would go into. So one of the ideas was for a, like World of Warcraft, but set in the StarCraft universe. I can't find any information on what the <laughs> second idea was. Good fortune. But the third was this MMO called um, Crossworlds. Crossworlds. how those work. So the idea behind that was like, hey, instead of like the six or seven classes that we had, why not make an MMO with 50 classes? Yeah, that idea obviously oh, didn't work out, but uh, Jeff Kaplan. Oh, sweet home. So that's really cute. Uh, there's not much attached to that one. Jeff Kaplan was uh, on that team, so I'm, I'm just sort of laying down on that brainstorming Respect team your and the uh, idea. That's pretty cool. The idea is that uh, stuck with him. Right now my uh, player icon is Los Angeles Valiant. But I really into them because of Terence Tallier. You can tell I've been doing my French theory. I was really into them because of Soon, and he's over at the Paris, uh, the Paris, uh, Paris Legends, Paris Viper. Uh, I'm on top of the world! Paris Eternal, that's it. Um, yeah, they're, they're good. And, but, uh, 
50 uh, unique heroes with uh, individual backstories, you know. Uh, it's all gone to the dogs. Want some candy? It's all gone to the dogs. It's better. Characters, characterization. So I'm looking for some. Go and sit down. Skins. <laughs> that was great. I mean, it's always the nicest. I mean, that's always the nicest thing to get anyway. But so that I can demonstrate some of the principles that I'm talking about. Visual identities. That's cool. Have a nice day. <laughs> Good. Um, the thing I wanted to talk about is the, uh, like this. Okay. Oh, that's just a victory cause. A lot of really unique. Uh, Here comes a new you know, challenger. Instantly visually recognizable, which really helps out in the battlefield. Okay, but with the voice acting as well. Uh, Watch being a first. Per okay. So, check this out. Um, this is not Tracer's usual color scheme at all, but the silhouette is very, still much the same, iconic on a macro level. And you still have a lot of the details, like, uh, you know, the, the tem temporal reality shifter, or whatever that was called, in there. Still have her goggles on, like that. Like little buckles and stuff. It's still very in character for her, and they're with her normal skin. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, uh is it too cute? Uh, bowling. And so, okay. So the rooster crows at midnight. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh. Those. Like, uh, in, in poster design. Five, five rule. It means that you need to put... Hold on, hold on. Like, okay, so here's a more extreme example that's clearly still Genji, but... Like, this is a lot more sheltered and layered, the silhouette. Mm -hmm is a lot more obscured, but there are still some, like the pose, the actor, very striking silhouette, uh, basically from all angles recognizable as the same character. The sword really helps sell it, as well as the attitude of the posing. Um, you know, this is not something you see much with this character, but the face mask, Right back here, that's still similar enough. And this uh, sash. It's a visual echo. It's my first really good Genji skin. See, I like the Twilight skin because it looks like Twilight Sparkle. See, I'm not a big fan of many of the Orisa skins, although her color schemes are pretty nice. Uh, this one is tight, though. Not even the, uh... Okay. Not really matching the theme I've got going on here. I don't get it. Oh, sweet. Skins. Skins, 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 skins. A lot of the way they achieve characterization is through details like this. You know, the, uh drapes and stuff. I 
it's new, but it still matches the uh, effective. girth of, of the character. It's pretty unique to her. And of course she'd be equipped with a gun. Yeah, never much like that Cybergoth skin. Didn't really do the hair. Oh wow, I got a lot of sweet skins in this one. And might as well equip this. because I'm equipping all the others from that. just from her haircut. That kind of thing. The hair, the color, the color of the hair as well. You see with uh, Symmetra's. Symmetra. Moira, you see with Moira's flaming red hair. That was something they decided on early, relatively early I'm on. I'm not so. a miracle worker. Well, not always. Symmetra's helmet creates an iconic head shape. It's out of lunar boxes. Let's move on to winter loop boxes. Oh, he smokes. Whoa. Merry Christmas to me. I made a decision early on in 2019 that um, the entire year is going to be Christmas this year. This, you know, after Christmas ended 2018, I just missed it so much. Oh, that's cute. Uh, love that. Going, I already have sort of a color scheme going on with my... And so I'm just... You know, keeping it Christmas. Someone had to break the ice. That's cute. Oh. Uh, can I interest you in a snowball fight? Yes, you can. Not much of a... Yeah. None of my Zenyatta quotes are... Very useful right now, so... Okay, so... Gonna talk a little bit about... Color, I guess, with this one. I like the banana skin. Uh, it's okay. Snow fox. Ooh, I hope I get one of those. Go. Ho ho ho! Anahmik. Call it. Okay, that's that's also cool. What's that do? Oh, oh, shoot. I'll check those later. Emotes. Great chance to pack it. Characterization. Forgive and forget. Okay. Like snow from yesteryear. That's very good. I like that. Yes. And voice lines. That's 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 good. I, I love that. Hey, These weird gauntlet things as part of a character design. 
This bell should be jingling. Posing is very important. Uh, No, I, I, I love the glam skin. I'm not, I got the glam emo and everything too. This is pretty nice skin. So as I was saying about, uh, Aww, you shouldn't have. color. For the motherland. Kicking out of a feather. <laughs> After you. Sure, that's a very, uh, a very Reinhardt pose. And that's a very Genji pose. So, you know, just simple things like uh, what they're doing as part of the pose that they don't need to be. The Genji is very polite and formal. Uh, of course, uh, you'd be getting a very different attitude to him at this stage of life compared to earlier on and from I his got life. you something completely different Is this easy mode completely different character Can't I guide your way tonight Oh Can't I guide your way tonight Yeah um these it's also a lot more useful quote than the ones I got equipped to her current Oh, I Never getting a highlight with a Widowmaker, but sure. You must be joking. No, no, I really mean it. This is a uh, Moira house. She even got some movement as part of her that you would didn't see in the statue still Genji, for example. I, I didn't even know they could do that movie thingy. And watch this, she's gonna be totally still as well. This level of control, this level of precision. Just a calm sort of sniper, you know, everything is precise. Well, my headline intro is already pretty good for Zara. Facial uh, expressions and stuff. It's carefree. I think I like carefree. Ah, <sighs> exquisite. This isn't boring, is it? 
I, I mean, I don't know why I thought this would be interesting, but... Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm really trying to get more videos done because, you know, I, I make video and then it, 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 I shoot stuff and then what time's the time to edit. Like, I like I'm a perfectionist and then I won't. Be reasonable. You're right, I, I should be reasonable, but, um, yeah, I was just about, about to say some unkind things about it, but, but that's, that's fine, you know. Um, hey, chill out. Just thought I'd make this video and it's just quick and easy, and it's not turning out as, as quick as I thought it would. But uh, okay, okay, so. Winston, big gorilla, you can tell like what he does just by looking at him. He's got a nice silhouette, just like that, and uh, this skin is pretty nice, but a uh, big old triangle thing, and he's got these little wings that separates and makes him sort of iconic. Uh. Hmm. Go on, give it a shake! You know, that's crap. Yeah, it's Christmas all year. There you go. Is that the skin that I still have on him? I thought I changed the skin. You're on my naughty list. There. No, I regret that now. So with the Roadhog, it's also an interesting situation because um, with uh, the skin chromas, I'm just gonna call them chromas, not even like proper skins. Alaco, hog, hog. Oh, it's, it's not Christmassy. Oh, but that is. There aren't many. With the chromas, aren't many ways to get into color. So you've got in the vest and a little in the uh, breech, breechers. But a lot of skin exposed. So, you know, most of the Roadhog skins wind up being essentially the same thing chromatically. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. So, it was around... Oh, she's even got a little tail. What the... Oh, it's a bear. Okay, so fun fact, originally, uh, like early on in Zarya's development, she was gonna ride around on a polar bear. Maybe just a normal bear. Like a grizzly or a black bear or something normal like that. They don't have grizzlies in Russia. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. She's gonna ride in on a bear. Her ultimate was gonna be she pulls out dual fields, two AKs, and the you know, and her ultimate is the bear also pulls out AKs and dual wields them for a limited time. So anyway, uh talking about Zarya skins. skin in particular, I mean. Four, okay, four, 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 that's the first thing. Titanium. Ooh. Oh. Some nice detailing you don't see in 
Are you scared? Scared. Oh yeah. Okay. Another. Anna is another one that I don't have very useful uh, voice lines for, so it's better. A little more. So that little teddy bear, whatever outfit, you know, it's the first I saw that skin. I'm all. Boy, Overwatch is really going kind of. It reminds me of. No, I like. I got a bird theme going on there. It reminds me of a Fortnite skin. Remember actually. this moment. Didn't get that Snow Fox Lucio outfit. Don't get me angry. So it's a lot. Let's see. Furrier. Anyone want some barbecue? Uh. Uh, more furry. skin at least that uh not far I got the snowboarder appeals to the sort of anthro demographic. I really like Mercy's imp skin myself. It's got horns and a tail. Oh that's good. I don't have very many Brigida skins. De pelos. Apparently With that snowboarder skin, she likes cats. Um, yeah. Left. Sheesh. Okay, and side by side, uh, the chromas. This reminds me a lot of like character customization when you can choose like the primary color and like secondary and tertiary colors. Secondary, tertiary. That looked like it hurt. And they have to work to make sure that color scheme, chroma scheme is basically fungible color scheme. Uh, you know, like, uh, oh, that's gonna be cute. You know, they've got roughly the same saturation, same value. I'm not sure if that's easier or harder than it sounds like. I haven't looked much into it myself. I always like this one, but look at that. Oh, wow, that's a new one. Nice. So with uh, Hanzo, we've got a lot of similarities in character design with Genji. No, originally, oh. Alex, is that you? James Gunn is back on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Who's back on it? James Gunn, the director of He's the back. first two. Yeah. Cool. 
I will not juggle. So cool. Okay. Like this is like this is, this is the greatest news I've heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. But he's still doing, uh, he's still going to do um, Suicide Squad 2, which is, you know, he's the director that Suicide Squad needs but does not deserve. <laughs> and so he's going to do three after he finishes Suicide Squad. I love this spray, that's so cool. Uh, yeah. That one. So, so, okay, so as long as we're talking about the sprays, um, Blizzard uses uh, an in house team for basically everything, but, you know, first doing Overwatch, first doing Titan, which would become Overwatch, they drafted in a lot of outside any last words a lot of outside help and then you know during the tradition transition from oh it's cute see like uh yeah hold that thought so for example sun sunrise dawn twilight these are Orissa's skins, chromas, I don't know. See, it's, I'm trying to insist on this terminology, but I'm not even following it that closely myself. It's based around a theme. Uh, really cool. There's, there's these subtle little gradients, which I love, in the Orissa chromas. Uh, they're based around themes, but still, even with all the variation from, you know, sun up to sun down, and there's probably a midnight skin or something, uh, all these color schemes, they work to make sure that... You need the computer? No. Okay, they, they, they would work to make sure that the value and... and you know, the relations of colors within the skin itself is mostly um, interchangeable. Like, you know, this is to this as it would be on any other of the, that particular Arisa suite. I have like only three May skins, so this is like a fourth, that's good. Hundred and forty nine. I'm I'm opening it before hundred and fifty. That way people will be all why only one hundred and forty nine? And ask a really question, you know, and, and see that. <laughs> and and there's your answer. You can stop watching now. If if you started watching this only to <laughs> figure out the uh that is so dope. I, I I've got a lot of really neat wrecking ball skins. It's all about life's little pleasures. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, that's 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 so perfect. It's all about life's little pleasures. Sure, why not? Uh, no, no, my skin is good. It's all about life's little pleasures. Fine. Sixty-six more. So I'm like, what? Two thirds of the way through. Like, heck. So they worked with the um, voice actors a lot to make sure that, you know, characterization comes through. That's awesome. That's, that's, I like that better than the Ruel thing. That's, that's pretty cute. I'm a rebel. Don't get caught with your beard in the letterbox. The voice actors and the sound designers a lot, um... 
sure that characterization comes through, you know, it's a character based, but it's first person. So it's also the sounds and the movement, if you've ever seen uh, the extra frames uh, episode about the movement. From one thing, no ten thousand things. The movement in Overwatch is first person. How they compare characterization through the camera movement and and like the parts of the characters you can see like uh, hands and stuff. With this Reaper skin, that's it's like the chromas are all really dark, but. They can stand out from one another, uh, I think, in, well, like, like these value contrasts between here and here, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, sh I should have, I should have gone at 74 or something, this is just ridiculous. It's not Halloween anymore, let's go with that. Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? It's just so many little boxes. Uh, but, you know, I live for these emotes. It's really what we're after. Emotes, not emotes. All about emotes. So let's just try to oh, that's good. Get through these. slighted with the skates. She's got a skin on too. He's an Omnic. He doesn't have to wear clothes, but he does. A bowler hat, mustache. So I guess it's all about characterization. Bastion is just perfect. He's got a little bird. Ganymede. Ganymede. And these characters are really like, likable even when they're so toothy. And she made a Universe themed Sunday. Nothing creepy about that. Make that my default spray. Kaboom! What's an aimbot? Probably something very helpful to my skin. with these people just because their names are like animal themed also they were nice to me in chat nice try no like seriously I, I don't know what I'm saying I was talking about oh yeah I was talking about uh, likability of characters like um 
I'm giving it all I've got. So one of the seven principles of animation is uh, approachability. Appeal. Uh, principle number uh, twelve of seven. So even T Racer. Oh, I get it. Even with, uh, give me a villain character to work with. The state Moira? Moira's character to work with? Someone like, uh... Even with someone like... Come on. Even with somebody like, uh... Miley Cyrus. Even if somebody like Miley Cyrus, the uh, uh, I'm looking for a villain. Anyway, you're, you're, you're drawn to the character, and it's all very nice and likable. And Reaper. He just looks cool, right? So, you know that that draws you in. Uh, think dumb. Dude. Technically a villain, but he's too like like he's just too cool. Like, not to like, you know. A lot of these uh, currencies, I think that's because you're just getting reimbursed for being gifted something you already have. Also, like, what's in the loot box is randomly determined, but, you know, it is determined when you get it, not when you open it. So, I'm, I, you know, just having the back pile stored up might be getting something that I would have already gotten anyway. That's dope. That's, that's bio shock. That's very bio shock. The outcome was never in doubt. Uh, so we just saw Bastion skin. Ah, these old dogs still knows a few tricks. Bastion is so beautiful and innocent. Larissa was literally born yesterday. Uh, I guess Bob does count as the own character. Oh, and of course Zenyatta, Hello world. who's like uh, Hello world. an Omnic monk. So even though Omnic were like the aggressors in the Omnic Crisis, most of the characters, Omnic characters you see are good guys, and even even uh, Bob here is just a loyal servant to someone who happens to be a villain. You know, so I think, you know, going in the future for Overwatch characters would be very interesting to have a Omnic who's outright. Oh, that is so cool. That is beautiful. Look at that. I'm still looking for May skins. I'm still got a few shortage of May skins. Boom. It's 500 currency. Someone villainous, like outwardly villainous, like Moira. You know, she's a human. And I'd like to see that kind of representation of the comic characters. Was that all? not 
so relatively well adjusted as Bastion. Who's been through stuff but still has a lot of fun. <laughs> nope, nope, not a quickly. Nah, that's that's disturbing. A lot of optimism about the world. Anyway. Oh, Silver Wolf is back. Sheesh, how long have I been doing this? Oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, out. Oh, you need to see everything I get. Ganymede is just so good. There we go. So I like to incorporate Ganymede into most of the Bastion things that I have. All this We're all animals. We're all animals. I've really been a furry ish Roadhog skin. No monkey business. Hit me! Hmm. Hit me! Lucio's got the, uh, frog. Oh, no, it's no fox. Arctic fox. Oh, there we go. Duplicate. That's... Yeah, okay. I get it. Okay. So that's sort of what I was talking about five hours ago. When I was talking about that. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wanted. Dead or alive. That does not compute. I'll just do that setting, okay. Uh... Okay. More cats, please. Boom. Okay. Fairy is such good people. Another thing about representation, uh, as far as species are concerned. Winston is male, Hammond of Wrecking Ball is male. So I think the next animal character needs to be a female. So, you know, jetpack cat. You know. What are you thinking? Inshallah, they get around to deciding that that's not too far fetched for Overwatch. Make, make her a. Make her a queen, please. Blizzard. Little boy cats are fine though. Magnifique. Magnifique. Play nice. Play Farah. I do play Farah. So is this one shiny because it's a duplicate? I am so done with it. See there's at least one duplicate per thing now anymore. No, unfortunately, I didn't wait long, long enough for them all to... <laughs> Just one of these. 
everyone in this video. But yeah, see, it's like at least one is gonna do it for the last season. Wow, I'm really not kidding. Perfect harmony. That that one is really tough to see against white surfaces if you spray it like in that snow there. Can't see it at all. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, yeah, same character, right? So whatever. Like I I don't have a very good uh, grasp of time. Why do you struggle? As it is. But it feels like I've been opening since. Oh, there's two. That's two. That's two. Sweet, sweet. Okay, last one. Last one. Come on. This is also gonna be two, right? Yeah. Okay. So the longer you go, the more duplicates. Yeah. Maybe if I'd waited till 174 or something, would have gotten to all four of them being duplicates. But. Uh, yeah, oh, that's a pretty dope skin. But I like my skins all being like his alt based, except for this one, which I sort of equipped out of this uh, sort of sense of obligation.